After an almost rainless year in Sicily, lakes are dry and fields are scorched. But water is still gushing from the taps for tourists. While drought is hitting the Italian island, fountains inside Agrigento's famous archaeological park are still flowing, and pools in rows of hotels are full. Islanders are surviving as they have for decades. They store as much as they can in cisterns and use tankers to deliver water. And they do it so well that visitors don't notice the difference. We were told in our, our uh, apartment we stayed at to conserve water because there was, could be a shortage. But anywhere else we've stayed, it hasn't been a problem. To get through the summer, the local water authority has rationed water for almost a million residents. They are allowed as little as two to four hours a week. But that rationed water and delivery with tankers so far is proving to be enough to fill the cisterns. 2024 has been the worst year for rainfall in over 20 years, according to the Civil Protection Regional Department. Lake Fanaco, which supplies water to Agrigento province, used to collect up to 18 million cubic meters of water during an average rainy season. But by April this year, the lake's water level was already below 2 million cubic meters, and it is now almost completely dry. Sicily is uh, facing a substantial decrease in uh, rainfall coupled with uh, a rather intense uh, heat wave, and the two things together have uh, really hit agriculture and, and, and cities alike. Agrigento residents are among the most drought resilient in Italy, and even with rationing, they still manage to run their businesses, hotels, bed and breakfasts, and households. Water saving systems, fixing leaky aqueducts, and desalinators can help the local community to adapt to drier weather.